Hello, everybody. I'm Richard Miller for Canvas Me, and this is uh, the uh, Canvas Media College Canvas Media College Basketball Report. This is January January sixteenth, twenty twenty three. I am Richard Miller from our Canvas Media Radio team. I own a I own a basketball. This week so far is continuing. They're in fact their strong their strong play. What's actually really, yesterday they came yesterday they they came off a loss. Overwriter, a very close game, 70, 70 to sixty seven, <laughs> in in that game. A, ve- a very, a uh, White had a really strong second half in that game, le- leading the way <laughs> against Iona. The Broncos they came coming back from an eighteen point second half deficit to hand Iona their first loss at home in their in their last you know twenty two meetings. <laughs> Iona uh, Rick Pitino's team was up early. Following an 11-1-1 that concluded, Barry Jean Lewis lay up at 9:23. The uh, Iona was leading by as many as many as possibly 15 throughout the game. The Gales had the aspirations of the starting the second, <laughs> connecting on threes, and their three-point shooting for most of the night. In the midst of a 9-3 run in the half, Denise Jenkins' second a uh, second three ball was 17:31 on the clock. Gave Iona a 49-41 lead midway through, and I, and definitely, you know, Iona's last Iona's last you know field goal of of the night throughout throughout the game. Ryder did outscore score, Ryder did eventually outscore the home team in that in that game, <laughs> which I think again some of their you know I think shots were a little bit a little bit off, especially you know in the second half. It was almost even very also even very much you know, you know sunny. Ryder coming into this game, Iona, who has been on you know, a very nice, a very nice hit out late. Nelly Nelly Junior. Joseph had eighteen points. Denise Jenkins had sixteen points. Bernard Jean Luis had thirteen points. And Cruz Davis also knocked in ten points in that game for the for the Iona Gales. Um, let's see, the Gales had auspicious, really, really definitely struggling in that first half. And I just think couldn't couldn't ca- couldn't catch up, but still overall, I think a good performance in the, in that game for the um. Although even despite you know coming up short, Iona is still overall in the game five and two in the comments, 12, 12 and six overall, and was also by the way, let's say it is there. It was the, <laughs> their also first loss at home dur- during this the season. Their first loss at home th- this this season. They had they had been pretty much. Almost unbeaten. Uh, Rick Pitino's team had been pretty much, you know, been been you know unbeaten. So they will have, they will next be playing Manhattan at Manhattan on Friday, and then actually they don't play again till next. Then the following Friday against Siena. So they do have a couple of games. Uh, co- actually coming up, you know, on on the schedule. They're playing a couple of games recently on their schedule. Moving along to the uh, <clears throat> moving along to uh, Army Army men's basketball. Let's see, they played. If we go by the if we go by their if we go by their basketball uh, schedule, Army themselves Army themselves they defeated. They don't have, Army doesn't actually play again till Wednesday, but they this past Saturday defeated Boston Boston College by a score of. Um, 83 to 74. Army is now five and one in in Patriot League play and eleven and eight overall on the season. <clears throat> Army Army's uh game was really a uh, performance of a player by the name of Jal- Jalen Rucker. Jalen Rucker, you know, uh, really t- really took control. Four of six six of shooting from from three point land really was mostly on the mark. You know, throughout the game, shooting four. Um, and had a career high in game points, twenty nine points. I real, I really feel again, Army getting out of the gates early, jumping out to an early lead, really, you know, basically likely, you know, control controlling even, you know, most of the of the game, throughout throughout most of the game. Rucker was basically very good and at the start of Patriot League play, continued really sh- and and definitely shooting the ball very well with his basketball. Boston College, um, let's see, Boston U did did eventually keep it close at twenty five, but I think again, Army eventually, you know, extending the lead more with 
play of you know T J Small, Ethan Roberts layup, and the lead is and the lead got back up even a little bit. Boston's leading scorer Walter White knocked down. So I think generally a good game for Army and a nice win. You know for the, a nice win, you know for the Black Knights Army. Now in now in Patriot League play, that team is that team is now is now five and one on the season. So I would really say a good start a good start for them in terms of you know Patriot League play. And you know, in fact, getting back to you, getting back to you, you know, playing 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 you know good basketball and potentially might be good you know very good basketball to start the second half. Army's lead was eventually remembering that cut to one. Jalen Rucker picked up where he, eventually he he played he played where he did eventually we did again in the first half. So Army this Army this week, this past week went two and three. Army has games coming up against Bucknell this Wednesday and Saturday. They will be facing they're gonna be playing Navy one one th- one thirty the um the the arm the Army Navy game. One of definitely the biggest games on the calendar. Probably may, may um whether whether it's either whether it's either football baseball bat basketball or, e- or even hockey an ar- an army navy game I mean the, there there is really nothing nothing like it there is nothing like I it, it there was nothing there was nothing like an an army navy game it it really it really feels like when it when it's between the a couple when it's it, actually between those two teams it feels like it's it is like a it's like a championship game it feels like in terms of basketball terms, it fe- it feels like an NCAA tournament game. There are definitely like some like some games, some de- some definitely we you know you know games that you know that that are really like excuse me those those <clears throat> those are definitely games that are really I think they really are games that you really feel like they're 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 much bigger like. I'm recently looking up. You, you know the next. You, you know the next North Carolina Duke meeting. The next North Carolina Duke meeting that will be in a couple weeks on Fe, on February on Saturday, February fourth. So I would definitely say <clears throat> it's called it's called been you know it's been called you know one of definitely the the hardest rivalries. It's considered definitely one of the most in, one of the most in, intense rivalries, and currently uh du, and currently Duke Duke Blue Devils. Recently, now with uh, John John Shire replacing Mike Shashevsky as as a as a head as head coach, who was an an assistant and a, an associate head coach after more than after more than like 40, 40 years, Duke Duke and um Duke in North Carolina playing, it will seem to be like a real a really good a really good matchup. Going over right now to the. Uh, Let's go. Let's go over to the uh, co- the the, the uh, let's go over to right now the uh, college basketball sc- college basketball scoreboards, uh, CBS college basketball tw- CBS college basketball like like tw- like twenty five twenty five, uh no CBS co- uh, CBS college basketball in terms of in fact the the scores NCAA college basketball scores let's say uh. Games actually, let's see. Games from actually yesterday. Uh, let, let's see. You had Memphis defeating Maryland, win sixty one fifty nine. Uh, Iowa improving to twelve and six, defeating Maryland eighty one to sixty seven. Or uh, in in overtime, Rutgers defeats Ohio State. Ohio State's ten and seven. Um, Rutgers is thirteen and five. Indiana State is thirteen and six. Mi- Missouri State is now. Missouri State goes to nine and nine, sixty four, sixty two. Missouri State wins. Fairfield defeats St. Peter's, um, fifty six to fifty two. Um, Mount St. Mary's is now six and twelve. Quinnipiac wins, fifty eight, fifty one. Uh, South Florida eighty one to seventy over East Carolina. Ryder defeated Iona yesterday at the Heinz Center, seventy seventy to sixty seven. Yesterday at the XL Center in Hartford, Connecticut, it was number six UConn defeating St. John's. I mean, St. John's defeating UConn. Pardon me, eighty-five to seventy-four. Um, St. John's is now thirteen and six on the season, while number six UConn is fifteen is fifteen and four. 
mean, um, and those were basically, let's see, Michigan defeated Northwestern 85 to 78, while um, Michigan goes to 10 and 7, while Northwestern goes, goes to 12 and 5. Meanwhile, also as well, as you know, in is also as well as you even know and also other uh, other news um let's see some other actual uh, other actual news in co in college in college basketball let, let's see oh and 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 and, then, and then for, something that really un something really unfortunate happened with uh Darius Miles his his his, his college basketball career seems to be over as well as also maybe any potential NBA future as da as Darius Miles and another man were arrested and being charged with a, a capital murder in connection Sunday morning with a shooting near campus of a 23-year-old woman. Miles was booked at the Tuscaloosa County Jail around 6.45 on Sunday. In a statement, the university said, Miles, a junior reserve forward from Washington, D.C., is no longer with the team. Miles, 21, and Michael Lynn Davis, 20, of Charleston County, Maryland, were both charged with capital murder. The charges of those because the death involved shots fired into a vehicle, Kennedy said. He said the driver of another vehicle, which Harris was a passenger, approached campus police near Bryant-Denny Stadium around 1.45 a.m., saying someone had shot into the vehicle and fired back. One of the suspects was treated for life-threatening non-injuries at a local hospital, and Kennedy declined to disclose who fired the gun or who was who was actually who or who was hurt in the situation. So unfortunately, unfortunately, right here some some troubling news, and we certainly do do wish definitely the we certainly do keep the uh, keep the victim's family in our, in our thoughts. Just a just a terrible a terrible sighting at any time anytime you see. More recently, and this recently has also been coming on the heels of what happened. Well, I'm sure you, I'm sure you all read about it. Georgia foot, Georgia football suffered. Georgia football themselves suffered its own, its own bit of sad news. Um, when um, when two, when two, when two, 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 pe two people, um, two, two Saturday, two, Saturday, De Devin Warlock, um. And the offensive line and recruiting staff were passed away in a car accident. Ch Chandler LeCroy, who was born in 1998, and Devin Chandler, police reported a single vehicle vehicle accident. And I mean, how 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 devastating is this? How how devastating is is this? The Georgia Bulldogs they just won back to back national championships the georgia bulldogs in football they just celebrated may maybe one of the one of the best feats of maybe any professional or college team could really have you win back to back national championships and then and then and then and then, and then, and then suddenly you hear then suddenly you hear just this really heartbreaking news um in their statement, they called Devin an outstanding young man in every way. All oh, was calling a um, called him a great teammate and a, and a joy to coach. Chandler was a valuable member of a football staff and brought incredible attitude and energy to every single and every single day. Oh, just just so, so we we grieve for the families of this tragic loss. And support them. Yeah, we de we definitely we you know grieve grieve for them and and what happened, a, a tragedy a tragedy, you know you know on on so on so many on so many levels. Oh, I mean after just after just winning the national championship, wasn't it like what the what, last month wasn't last Monday the national championship? Yeah, yeah. What wasn't last? Yeah, last Monday was was the college football national championship game. Georgia, Georgia dominated TCU. Yeah, crushed them. One of the most dominating performances by TCU crushed them. Well, unfortunately, Georgia, Georgia suffers. Georgia suffers their own, their own heartbreak, but not in but something off the field, which is really like, I mean, really far 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 more worse. Really, very very troubling. 
sad condol condolences, you know, to their families and, and friends and all that are actually, you know, involved involved in this. I that's all that's all you can all you can really say. Just, you know, pray pray for the families and really hope that uh and hopefully time will eventually he a uh, time will eventually heal 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 everything. Uh college college basketball news from let's say um NCAA, NCAA men's news in, in college basketball. Let's say um uh let, let's see. Well, also and also one other thing, Antonio Rivas and Oscar Tishwell, they, Tishbone took down. I mean, Kentucky would took down, and one of the biggest upsets of the weekend. How about this, Kentucky, which is actually unranked. Excuse me. Kentucky has been very much has been very inconsistent. Kentucky is eleven and six on this eleven and six on the season. After you know starting off with actually four wins, they defeated Norfolk, Bellmore, Michigan, and Yale. Then they lose you know two out of three. Then they then they win two two in a row. Then lose their their like what first road game of the new year. Then the South Carolina. Hey, well, that's 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 in the southeast. That's in the southeast conference. This this win this win this this win now puts them actually you know at a this win now actually is you know they're put they're actually putting them right now at eleven and six. Kentucky there, there's there's gonna definitely I think there's gonna be eventually some you know. A pressure about pressure, you know, about Kentucky. There is going to, with um, with usually what what they what they have been they have you know been able to you know do and how and how they you know usually are potentially one of the now they are you know potentially one of the teams that's always maybe that's in in contention in contention in um in, in usual contention in, in in basketball. I mean. Usually, usually, even one of the you know the contentions in actually ba basketball and whatnot. This team, this team, I I feel this team, I feel right here is definitely. I would have to be saying, it's it's a, it's a it's a struggling team. It is a struggling team, <laughs> trying trying to get trying to get off. In fact, it's um trying to, try, trying to. Eventually, get it off, and may, it may be definitely, you know, you know, go, and maybe you know, definitely, you know, go go for it for it again. But they're upcoming. I mean, you can't really get down. It, it is still early. It's what it's what today is. What only what Jan January sixteenth. There is definitely, I think, I think a, a long way to go. Um, up. Uh, I own I own a basketball. Checking now, checking now the um, checking now the max standings, checking now excuse me the max checking now the max standings, excuse me as we no not not the max no not that not the max standings in football but max standings I would say right now in 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 bat in bat in, no not not but not baseball bat basketball no no um Matt yeah max basketball standings I own uh. Uh, it is pretty much it's it's really it's very very tight up there. Like overall, no, no. Let's see. First off, let's let's go. The Big East. Xavier is on top, winning you know, eleven in a row. Providence is hanging in there at fourteen and four. Marquette is fourteen and five. Crane is ten and eight. Um, Xavier, Providence, and Marquette are among those top teams. Crane is a team that's le that's having two wins over um uh two games over five hundred. Connecticut, Connecticut, Connecticut men are fifteen and four. St. John's is thirteen is thirteen and six. St. Hall right now is eleven and eight. Xavier Xavier's been red hot, really even winning right now. I love it, eleven in a row. Going over to the um <clears throat> going actually over to the um American East Conference, UMBC is has won four in a row. Binghamton has won Binghamton has won three in a row. UMass Lowell has had recently lost their last game. Bryan had, had won uh, their last two in a row. New Hampshire had won had lost uh, had 
actually what New Hampshire had actually what New Hampshire had actually lost their last game. Vermont had has recently lost two in a row. NJIT is now five and twelve on the season. Albany is now six and six and four. Let's see what also Maine is now Maine has now really gone in a slump. They have uh, they have in a way really really dropped off, losing you know seven in a row. The uh, bit the Big Ten comments. Purdue Boilermakers are staying red hot at seventeen and one. Rutgers is right now what 13, 13 and five. Purdue seventeen and one. Michigan ten and seven. Iowa is uh, twelve and six. Michigan State is twelve and six. Penn State is twelve and five. Colonial, let's see, Conf conference. Uh, let's see, uh, let's see, M Metro Atlantic. See, as I told you, Siena's on top. Iona, Quinnipiac is fourteen and five. Ryder is seven and nine. Manhattan six and ten. Niagara's nine and eight. Marist is seven and nine. Fairfield seven and ten. Uh, Canisius is five and twelve. Mount Saint Mary six and twelve. Uh, Saint Peter, Saint Peter's is seven and eleven. <clears throat> so I, I think we that's where we will end tonight. This is Richard Miller for Canvas Media. I we represent cadets, midshipmen, and the military. Have been doing it proudly since two thousand eight. I'm Richard Miller for Canvas Media. Have a good night, everyone. So long.